Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny and welcome to my bunny room. I thought today I would share how to set up the perfect bunny habitat and I figure the best way to do that is just to show off my bunny room. Now by no means am I perfect but I do feel like I have a really great setup for Cinnabon so hopefully my setup can inspire you and also just give you a little bit of a peek into what our day-to-day -day situation looks like. Now when I first moved into this house in 2021 I did show off this house but there are so many new faces here some things have changed around and I've never really fully gone deeply into why I set it up the way that I did. So I figured I would give you a tour today and hopefully inspire you on how you can set up your rabbit space. One more thing to note, I recognize I'm extremely lucky to be able to have an entire room dedicated to Cinnabon. We moved into this house from a one bedroom apartment. So when we were in our one bedroom apartment, I kind of had a corner for Cinnabon, but Cinnabon was free roam around the space. So you can kind of like shrink this down or build it up kind of to fit whatever space you're in. As long as you have the certain things you need, like litter box, hide, toys, you're set. And lastly, before we get started, if you are not already, make sure you follow us on Instagram. We post daily updates on there on our stories. And if you wanna know what I'm getting up to, you can follow my personal Instagram. That's just more dedicated to what me, myself, and I are up to. All right, enough of this intro, let's get into the tour. Okay, now right off the bat, the bunny room is the sunroom in my house. It's also my office. And one of the things I love most about this room is that there is a door that I can shut. This door right here, This is how I keep Cinnabon safe if I am out of the house once I'm going to bed. It is just the perfect way to make sure that Cinnabon is still free roam, but if I'm out of town, if I'm away and can't watch her, I know that the bunny room is fully safe for her and she's not gonna get into any trouble. So that has been a huge lifesaver for us, just being able to have this door. But of course, during the day, the door is wide open at all times and Cinnabon rooms around the living room, kitchen, house, whatever. But at least I know that I can shut that if necessary. But let's go ahead and go on in. Okay, let's talk about the area that you guys probably are the most familiar with. And this is Cinnabon's litter box area. This is actually a cat litter box or like a litter box holder that I got off of Amazon. It's still there. I've had this since we moved in and it's outstanding. On top of the litter box, I keep her big basket of toys and I switch these toys out every couple days because she gets so bored of the toys that she has. So I have a big basket here that I'm constantly switching around. And then also when we have people come over, I can pick the toys up that are on the ground and have a spot for them so that this room isn't just a rabbit toy disaster zone. I also have down in the corner of the frame here, I have Cinnabon's water bowl. This was an antique find that I found years ago, but I'm gonna link down in the description some like very similar ones you can find, but it is so cute. It's a little cabbage bowl and rabbits should always have bowls of water to drink from, not water bottles because they can drink as much as a small dog. Now let's take a look inside of Cinnabon's litter box. Little Miss is actually in here right now, but she is showing you how she uses her litter box. But yes, inside this box, I have her actual litter box, which was originally a hooded litter box. I just took the hood off since I have this. I have a hay bag from Amazon. I have this little like rug thing here. I don't know if you can fully see it, but I have kind of a grippy ground thing that she can just use to hop in and out of the litter box and not slip. And then I just have these hooks that I bought at the hardware store that I can hang her hay bag on. So that's kind of our entire litter box setup, but I'm going to leave her be so she can have her privacy. <laughs> Okay, so I figure I can just hop over here really quickly. This is my desk where I work and there's a ton of cords, but the way that I've protected all of the cords around my desk from my computer, my monitor, my chargers, everything is this little basket right here. I just keep all of my cords in that basket and then any cords that are exposed, I have wrapped up in a cord protector. I have been doing this for three years since I moved here and it has been completely fine. There's a couple nibbles out of the one cord protector that is connecting the surge protector from the wall, but for the most part, it has been very safe and I have not had to replace a single cord in this room, which rocks. As far as the furniture, this has kind of like rounded edges, so it's pretty smooth. Cinnabon's never shown any interest in chewing on it. And my chair has wheels. I just make sure that if I ever move it around, Cinnabon's not underneath so I don't roll over her little toe. But yeah, that's just a quick look at my desk area. And then this area right here is kind of the star of the show. You recognize this sofa as our backdrop on almost all of our Cinnabon Sunday videos. This sofa is also Cinnabon's bed. 
Now, when she's not sleeping on the floor, she is asleep on this sofa, and that's typically at nighttime. She really likes to sit right up here on the top because I think she likes to look out the window, which is very cute. And there's definitely some Secotrip stains on the sofa. Now, this is a white sofa that I got from Ikea, but what I do, and I've talked about this before, but I cover the sofa with a matte lisse blanket. It's like a lightweight quilt. And I just wash this like once a week. There's definitely some holes in it and it's honestly probably time for me to buy a new quilt, but it really does its job of keeping my sofa clean from fur, poop, secotrope stains, dust. Right here I have a little coffee table and I actually have Cinnabon's forage container in here. Anytime I open this up, Cinnabon freaks out, so I'm going to not do that, but I keep forage in here all the time. And then let's actually talk about the rug I'm standing on. So this rug is a jute rug, and because the ground in here is tile, it's okay for Cinnabon to hop on. It's definitely better than hardwoods, but it still needs just something soft, something that she can have more friction on. So I love a jute rug. She can't really tear it up because it's pretty flat down to the ground, and it's natural fiber, so if she does chew on it a little bit, she's not gonna get sick. So if you ever have a space that's not carpeted, you need a rug in it, and I'm a big fan of a jute rug. I think they look nice, and they're good for little rabbit feet. And then right over here next to the sofa is our side table. I got this side table on Facebook Marketplace, I think for like 50 bucks, such a steal. But it's great because it's metal, so Cinnabon can't chew on it. Underneath, I don't know if you can see, but that is my air purifier, which has been my number one recommendation for rabbit owners since day one. I have the Lavoie just standard size air purifier and it is running 24 seven. The only reason it's not on right now is because I'm filming and as soon as I turn the camera off, this is going back on. Especially in my bunny room, there is just so much fluff and hay dust floating around in here that if I don't have this running, it smells like hay. But with this running, you don't really notice the smell at all because it's cleaning the air. I also keep my remote controls in this box here just so Cinnabon can't chew on the buttons. It's nice and safe from her. And then this cute bunny I got from Home Goods, and it just looks adorable. So let's talk about probably the biggest update to the bunny room, which is Fort Cinnabon over here. This is a newer thing that we have. I used to have a tent for her, but the tent was getting pretty gross. I've had that since she was a baby, and I figured it was time to upgrade to <laughs> a castle because she's a spoiled little princess. Before I talk about the castle, I also have this chair here, which is definitely large in the frame. So she just likes to sit in it. It looks cute in the room and it's really funny to see Cinnabon sitting on a black and white chair. There's this chair. She also can hide underneath the chair as like a hide for herself, but this is like the big hide she has. There's a door here and then there's actually a door over here. She has this ramp that she doesn't use too much. I honestly might take it off, but she hops up here where I have tons of toys. I have this toy, this toy, this play table. This is from Small Pet Select. The castle is also from Small Pet Select. So many rabbit toys, I feel like, come with little hooks on them, like that they're meant for a cage. And as we all know, rabbits should not live in cages. Clearly, I'm showing you my bunny room. But if you don't have a cage for your rabbit, it's kind of hard to hang their toy. So this is fun because any rabbit toy you have that has a hook and is like meant to be yanked on, you can hang it up here and then your rabbit has something to like bop around, pull on, and I, I love it. She has been absolutely loving it. So I've been hanging toys from it and she's just been having a great time. Lastly, I have her little food plate. I bought this plate for her in Italy when Bryant and I went for our honeymoon because uh, yes, we did bring Cinnabon, a souvenir from our honeymoon, of course, why wouldn't we? But she's absolutely been loving Fort Cinnabon. I think it's so cute and it's humongous, but over here it's pretty out of the way and she deserves it. And I think the last thing we need to talk about is Cinnabon's snuffle mat here from Poppy Seed Paws. This is what I put her pellets on and this is also what I will sprinkle the forage that I keep in her forage jar onto throughout the day. Oh, somebody's coming to say hello. Here, why don't, why don't I show you? So as you can see, forage mats are just a really great way to engage your rabbit's brain. So it's just a nice way to, instead of just giving your rabbit their pellets on a plate or in a bowl, to give them an activity to do, to search and dig around and forage for their food. And buns, that is it for our tour of the bunny room. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration for your potential bunny setup. I'm just so thankful to have a space where I can work alongside Cinnabon and that she can free roam and be happy and just feel super comfortable in her own space. Clearly Cinnabon's having a great time over here. So do you want to help me say goodbye? Say bye buns. Bye buns. Bye buns.